Cheers. I just wanted to make sure I was in this little cove here. Okay, so flip. Sick and tired of fighting all the this time. I broke an LV bomb in my right hand. Fall down there. Cut your face with no See ya. Time is such a room. What's up YouTube? Back for another review. This time we're going to take a look at the Perception Eclipse Sea Lion. So this is a 1990s era uh, touring kayak. It's really what I call an expedition kayak. Uh, reason for that is uh, there's a lot of room in this kayak. It's got, a, it's got a large weight capacity. This is basically a kayak you would take for a long camping trip. Like I said, 1990s era, and uh, they do not make these anymore. Um, so, uh, so it's old. Some of the features are old. Seats a lot different than what I'm used to. But uh, I saw this on Craigslist, and uh, I uh, I got it for a good price. Uh, been been looking for a kayak like this, um, a kayak that is uh, uh, 17 foot long high weight capacity, this will hold about 425, 450 pounds. So that's me and a lot of gear. And uh, it's, got a, it's got a lot of room. You can see the straps here, tie down straps to put a sleeping bag, tent, whatever on the back. Um, you've got your bungees. So um, it's an interesting kayak. So uh, let's take a look at this thing and uh, get it in the water. And I'll tell you what I think about it.
favor. Okay. Is there a way, uh, this runner I have in the back, is there a way you can take the rope off of it? Just stay, I'll, I'll pull up right beside you. Weather cocks like crazy. It turns into the wind unless you have a rudder down. What's that? That is so cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's just a rope on it that, that holds it in place. All you gotta do is pull that rope in. Yeah, just pull that forward. Good to go, man. Uh, yeah, if you want to, yeah, go for it. Sorry. sorry. I really appreciate it, guys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, just put it in the water. That's perfect. Yeah. That is so cool. Thanks, guys.
All right, guys, this is it. It's the end of the review. Time to find out what I think about this kayak. So, um, there's some pros and cons with any boat. Pros, um, this, this really is, for its air, this is really a, a nice kayak. So it's, uh, it's got great outfitting. Um, this was this particular boat was made in 1999, and Perception made these uh, through the uh, 90s, early 2000s, and 16-foot, uh, um, 17-foot models of various sizes, weight capacities. Um, you can get a lot of stuff in this boat, so you can uh, unloose these, put a tent on there, whatever you want really is made for expedition for camping long trips one thing I don't like and this is just the way they, they did it back then you had uh, an inner hatch cover uh, you see it's this neoprene material here uh, a lot of times you'll see these boats for sale without the hatch um, you need the inner hatch cover. You can buy replacements um, from IR. They sell them on their website. You just send them the measurements and you get the, the replacement hatch cover. But uh, this, this boat was uh, well taken care of. It was uh, owned by an older gentleman uh, who has been the only owner of the boat. So uh, um, it's nice. It looks slick. Uh, relatively fast. So let's talk about the cons. Uh, it weather cocks really badly and what I mean by that is that the wind blows this boat all over the place um, so it's got a lot of rocker it's got a lot of curvature to the bottom of the boat uh, meaning that it turns very easily but it's also very long so this boat um, weathercocks to counteract that um, you've got a you've got a rudder here it keeps you going straight uh, you can also use the rudder to steer. That's not what it's designed for, but it works really, really well. And uh, I like the rudder. Um, another con to this boat is uh, it's not really very comfortable. So you've got this old seat. That the front doesn't lift up to support your legs. you got the, the, the back rest here, which is actually pretty comfortable. But the seat itself leave something to be desired be really really easy to uh, take a Jackson sweet cheeks or something like that and uh, put that in there and make it a, a lot more comfortable I may do that um, got your front bungees here these can be loosened up refastened so for a 1999 boat um, I'm pretty impressed I I uh, was looking at actually buying a uh, wilderness systems tsunami uh, 17 5 I think it is or 17 which is really the modern equivalent of something like this and uh, that would have been very expensive this I got for a fraction of the price and this really is this boat is really in mint condition so um, I got a good deal if I had to resell it I could easily make my money back um, it looks fantastic I've had a lot of people uh, really impressed by this boat um, so really I think the only issues I have with it are the the weather cocking and the comfort the weather cocking is to be expected and, and in fact the tsunami uh, uh, the longer models of tsunami also weather cock severely that's why you've got the rudder that's the whole purpose of the rudder with a boat like this um, I've also seen a couple people who have um, the same model or the fiberglass model they also made this in fiberglass and Kevlar and have taken the rudder off and used this as an ocean playboat um, that's easy to do because you've got so much rocker in this boat so there's a lot of a lot of rocker on the ends and it's perfect for riding waves and uh, ocean play so um I also really like the color scheme. I mean, it's it's a good-looking boat. Nobody buys boats for the way they look, but uh, this is a it's a nice-looking boat. So, um, 
would I buy one? I think I think I would for the right price. You you see a fair amount of these on the market. Fiberglass models probably going to run you about a thousand dollars. That's usually what I've seen uh, as the ask price. Um, plastic version, rotomold version is probably going to be uh, between five and seven hundred. I think is uh, is a fair price depending on the condition. So uh, this is. Um, this is easily worth $700, I would say. So if you find it for that, I try to whittle, uh, whittle a little bit off the price and go for it. Um, so uh, just make sure you've got the rudder. You need the rudder for this boat. Um, you're uh, you're going to weathercock badly without it. Of course, if you're uh, a good paddler, you can adjust, but uh, so much easier with the uh, rudder. So um, that's it, guys. In conclusion, good boat, give it a shot, but make sure you got a rudder and consider buying uh, Jackson Sweet Cheeks for the, uh, the seat. Should be a lot more comfortable ride for you. Until next time, I'll see you on the water.